we've been wind rowing for 25 years and, and most of us know it's a pain in the backside. It, it's very hard to pick the rows up, but we've now stumbled on how to fix it. So what I'll do is I'll show you a row that's seeded, that's wind rowed with the sowing uh, direction and then I'll show you how we've sorted it out by wind rowing across the seeding direction. Now as we move over here we can see this wind row has been wind rowed with the seeding direction. You Sadly you have to do it on the outside of the paddock. You can see how the wind row's fallen down on the ground. These heads are right on the ground in between the rows. Now if we pick that up we can see where it's just sitting on that row that runs that way and it's gone down in between the rows. If we move over onto where we've wind rowed across the direction of sowing, you'll see a complete difference. And you can see where I've wind rowed across the seating direction that way and I've wind rowed across. You can actually slide your hand underneath the wind row. It's, it's like bridge pylons holding the wind row up off the ground. And look, we've really found it works. We've had two years with 60 or 80 mil of rain on it and no damage. So for us, Wind rowing cereal now really is a very viable option. We're looking at no losses, run the pickups up off the ground. You're not down in the dirt picking up stones and sticks. So for us, it's really starting to work. We know now when you look around, we've got all the weed seeds are there. We've got them in the row and they'll end up in the destructor.